What's up, my friends? Welcome back to The Witcher. Here we are with Geralt, Leo, and Triss. We are trying to take back Kara Morin, um, the other Witchers, Vesemir, Eskul, and Lambert are out there fighting the Frightener and Savola, I think his name was. So we are going inside the keep to get to the laboratory to stop them from getting the mutagens, which is some unknown mage and some gentleman named the Professor. So, other than that, the bandit group that's attacking us is called Salamandra. Salamander? Salamandra? Something like that. Anyways, let's get to it. We took all our potions, because they seem to be on our ass about taking our potions. So we got Tawny Owl, Swallow, and Thunderbolt going. And we still have the Blessing of Air. From when me and Leo did the um, the learning of the art sign. So, anyways, let's get to it. You got anything, Tris? Can't afford to lose any more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. All right. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart! A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. So who... Who's this guy? Is this Savola? Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. I guess, uh... Well, let's pause this. Yeah, yeah. This is Savola. So he's not fighting the Witchers outside. Interesting. I guess he's trying to stop us from getting to uh, the Unknown Mage and the Professor. See, I told you that was more important. I knew it. I just had a feeling. What are we supposed to do? We can't. Um, he's siphoning energy from these guys. Let's kill these guys, probably. They look like heavy armor, guys. No. He is wrecking us, my friends. Leo, what are you doing out there, bud? Okay, we have Ard on board down here. Alright, let's go kill him. Gerald's endurance indicated by the yellow bar drops each time you use a sign. You cannot cast signs when endurance is too low. Okay. Damn, let's wreck them. Okay, he doesn't have light attacks. Well, he doesn't, doesn't look like light attacks work on him. There we go. Defend yourself, bitch. Ooh. Potty mouth. Ooh, yeah, sucker. Are we wrecking him? Oh, he's wrecking us. Can we eat food? Can we eat one of his mutton legs? I guess we can. Okay, we we're having a hard time hitting this gentleman. Hey, pal. Oh yeah, eat that. Nothing better than knocking him on his ass. Yeah, yeah, Leo, keep it down out there. Leo is encouraging us hardcore, man. We whooped his ass, Leo. Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. Ryan. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. We did indeed. In Geralt's past, fight the strongest sorcerer of, uh, I guess, of the lore, man. Vilgefortz was nasty. He's in the, uh, the books. He's, uh, he's... Between him and Leo Bonhart. Leo Bonhart was a, um, freaking... Bounty Hunter, but Vilgefortz was nasty, man. 
Sapphire salt to appear. What is that for bombs? Uh, I did get a little bit of suggestions from my friends about not worrying about bombs. They said something about alchemy is pretty extensive, but I'll need to Google how to do alchemy. So we'll, we'll read about it as we go. Soot, soot. So blade coatings. Well, we'll get stuff going. I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. For now, we'll just play the game and enjoy it when the tutorials come up with the, um, if they even have tutorials, I'm seeing, well, the tutorials seem to be actually pretty good. So if they teach us how to do alchemy and stuff, it'll be easier. Hey, Triss is, beat the hell up. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mage is, I underestimated him. Hurry. Triss. Look at these rats over here. All right, can't talk to her. Let's go down and see if we can stop this other damn mage. So she underestimated the other mage and the other mage whooped her ass. That sucks. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop! Ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Okay. Poor Leo, man. I, you know, I just had a feeling. These games, I'm telling you, they always set up a character and then they kill them off in the beginning. Yeah, we're no stranger to that stuff. That's unfortunate, man. It's definitely unfortunate to lose a Witcher. Because it, to, to become a Witcher is incredibly hard to already do. And you're already rare as it is. And you're needed. Especially in, in this world. So to kill a Witcher and all the disdain and distrust to Witchers. I'm wondering how this game does it, though. I wonder if they're really zealous against witchers and uh, whatnot. We'll see. We will see how it goes. But even like like my basic knowledge of witchers is all obviously from the books, and people are very they don't like witchers, man. They spit when they go by. They just don't trust them. They they just don't like them. They barely pay them any money for what the hell they do. So to lose a witcher is definitely something we don't want to we don't want to do. If we ever meet other witchers on our journeys, it's going to be very interesting and cool. So anyways, choose how long you want to meditate by clicking on the moon. 
dawn, midnight, or dust icons. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's unfortunate. It's not, the Geralt said it. We we were too late. We weren't too late. It's not like we could have went over there and stopped that that bolt from hitting Leo. I mean, he looked strategically like he was doing the right thing by trying to sneak around him, but he just chose Leo instead of Geralt. And if he chose Geralt, we probably could have parried that bolt. Unfortunate, my friends, but it's how it is. Got to move on. Okay, so I'll rest a bit and prepare. Okay, you've earned talents. Use use these upgrades. Character features that include attributes, signs, and combat skills. Just select the feature you want to enhance from the list. On the left, then choose from among the heightened enhancements and the ability tree on the right. To commit your choice, left click on the hourglasses to cancel and start over. Um. Well, combat is really not hard right now. So from my basic knowledge of any RPGs, I always want to do either charisma type of stuff, intelligence type of stuff, before we dive into other stuff. Because I want to test the grounds, man. I want to see how much girl can handle and see where we need to take this build. But obviously intelligence might be useful for now. Because intelligence and charisma and stuff like that is always handy early on. Lock picking. I'm guessing there's no lock picking, but who knows? So sign based stuff. C enables identification of gathering herbs. Provides knowledge about selected. Not yet encountered monsters. So, so from what I'm aware is that this game. Um. What does this do? Base sign intensity? That's cool. That works for art. That's all we got right now. You have to read books to be able to extract monster stuff. I don't know how that goes, but we'll... I think... Let's just go in intelligence for now. And then we'll see what we need later. Like, they got group steel, fast steel, silver sword stuff. This is intense. Jesus. So base sign intensity by another 10% unlocks level 3 signs. What is level 3 signs? Is it... So I'm seeing the 1 here too. This is level 3. Oh, so it, your intelligence would unlock your sign stuff over here. This is pretty in-depth, no doubt. Do we want herbs or do we want monster lore? Enables identification of gathering herbs. Let's just get that. Can we even get this? I'll right click. Oh, we can skip something. Provides knowledge about selected, not yet encountered monsters. Let's get herbs. And then, what do you say that the... Journal, alchemy, let's not do alchemy not right now. Now let's meditate, let us meditate to nighttime, I guess. Pretty extensive stuff and I am digging it, man. Getting our uh, Heads wrapped around with the hell. All that's missing is a mage who'd know how to use this. Interesting. So you just go buy stuff. Geralt would say something. Cool. Wardrobe. What do we got here? Swallow. Um, that's lit green. So let's do that. <laughs> Did you see using that mutton leg in the middle of combat? That was great. It'll just <laughs> he just stopped in the middle of the Savola fight and ate a fucking chicken leg. They once laid me down here. Gruesome stuff. Look at this. I told you the trial of grass is nasty to become a witcher. The price they pay, man. Mosses and grasses. The smell is heady. A heady smell? Okay. Hey, Vez. 
Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss'll hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. So, wheat. It's good that we actually picked herbalism then. The herbalist thing, because it looks like he's going to teach us stuff for the monsters. Very cool, my friends. Okay, left click on the scroll icon and Jade open journal. Press quest to see the next. Choose potion for Triss quest. Interesting because... Um... I know from the books that Triss is uh, allergic to magic. She's indeed a sorceress. Powerful sorceress, but she's allergic to magic. She, she could probably heal herself, but she can't. She gets incredibly sick when magic is induced into her, I guess. Um, so making a healing potion for her is pretty cool. And they are following the books quite a little bit here, which is very awesome. One thing else about Triss is that she has a nasty scar under her neck. Right where her chest is, but they're actually absolutely showing her cleavage pretty hardcore and there's no scar on it. So that's definitely wrong, but it's okay. It's just a game. Sex sells, my friends. Oh, they'll good. pay for this. They will pay for this, pal. Look at the journal here. Um, don't need to read the tutorial stuff. Vesemir told me to prepare a potion for Triss, who was wounded. Lambert is watching over the sorceress in the main hall. He'll give me further instructions. Okay. Leo Paris at the hand of the professor, the bandit's leader. I need to rest and then explore the fortress. I should make sure Triss and the other witchers are all right. Any surviving intruders will make them regret Leo's murder. So the professor is leading the militia here. And it seems that Unknown Mage is probably the main man. And this professor guy is just his uh, lackey that does his wet work for him. All right. Toodles, Vesemir. Have a good day. Take care of looking at them mosses and herbs, my friend. You know, let me see something real quick. I want to test something. The Ard Circle, right? I wonder if we can re-click on it. See if it does anything. Yeah, it does. Ard Sign Intensity increased by 50%. So, whenever we see these in the world, we should click on them. Even though we already learned it because it looks like it gives us intensity. Cool, man. Well, let's move the hell on. Poor Leo, man. That poor kid didn't deserve that. Lambert. Here he is. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Since when are you one to like Triss Marigold? Weird. Where's the, uh, yeah, where's the calcium equum? Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall inside a chest. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in the crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, I'm never too short of alcohol in the Witcher's Fortress. That's for darn sure, probably. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. 
What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. Okay, prepare potions in meditation mode. Gather the required ingredients first. What do you need? I didn't mean to click on you, but... I'll find you later. What is over here? Let's see if we can talk to Triss. Uh, uh. Guess not. Look at these paintings. They're pretty cool. What is that? Witcher George slaying the dragon. Oh, so Girl can talk about the paintings. See? Get close to stuff. He it's like banter. Okay. Witcher George slaying a dragon. I don't know who Witcher George is. George is. I never heard him in the books. It must be game exclusive stuff. Hmm. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. What is that? Some kind of uh, what's the the snake ones? What are they called? Like the three-headed snake things. Uh, Hydra. Defending common folk. Uh, it's got like, like a chicken head, so it's like a cockatrice. Cool, man. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and take all this chicken. You don't need that. Okay, I did find out how to auto-loot everything. Interesting because it's control, you hold down control, and then you just click, and it auto-loots. That wasn't even, it's not even anywhere in the game tutorial, you had to Google that stuff to find it, so. You gotta be very careful, especially with games you never beat, or played. Hey, bub. That. Eat it, sucker. Oh, one shot city, my friends. Okay, come on in, Lambert. Get some, big dog. You'll pay for that. And you're done. Oh, he fell into the water. All right. Good job, Lambert. What do you need? I'll find you later. Aren't you supposed to be watching Triss? He's over here fighting. I guess, uh, can't resist. All right, let's go. Let's keep going into this damn part. Oh, they keep. He said we need calcium equum. We need to find and a bottle of white gall. Hello. You'll regret the day oh yeah, I eat that sucker. Um, this art is just OP as heck. I'm just knocking everyone out. Hey, pal. Racking, mopping them up, my friends. Uh, hello. Look at Geralt switching to the, <laughs> the blunt end of the sword and stabbing it at him. That's pretty cool. How do we get this guy from not beating on our back while we're in the middle of fighting? I guess we can position ourselves. Oh yeah! Well, all the bandits are accounted for. Turn on floating messages like too fast, final attack. I don't want to turn that off because it's helping now. Alright, let's go in here, see if we can find anything. Instead of auto looting this stuff, I'm going to see an unknown potion. The hell does that do? For now... How do you deal with unknown potions? What do you drink it to see what the hell it is? Probably. I have played some games in the past that to identify um like herbs and such, you can got to eat them and identifies the herb and figure out what you can make out of them herbs. So I'm guessing probably around the lines of the same. Versus room. Okay. 
I'm sure she won't mind if we go in there. Bottled water. There we go, baby. More mutton legs. Bottle of water and a grindstone. Increases damage inflicted by 20%. Okay. That's nice. So that, I guess, is blade coating, but it's like blade, uh... A grindstone is like sharpening your blade. Toussaint Red. Thought by many to be the world's most exquisite red wine. Okay. Triss has nothing but booze in her room. Razima's champion. Vild beer. Vile beer. Road in the capital city of Tamaria. Okay. Tamaria is an interesting place because Geralt, the uh, video, the starting video of him fighting that beast, which is a striga, which is... From the book, it was the, like the very first story, man. It was in the Last Wish book. Um, Geralt goes to the city of Azima and he needs to... Um, well, he took a contract on the king's daughter because she turned into a striga. Striga is some crazy beast that it, it only affects women, but it was a curse that was cast on her. And uh, he dispelled the curse. Obviously, you've seen in the video that he got done with the... Um, he actually took the curse away from her, but she hurt him in the end. It was pretty crazy because the end... It was pretty spot on, but the end of... Um, how do I get this off? Tab. The end, instead of her smashing Geralt in the face, they were, she was like... Scratching the hell out of him, tearing him up pretty good, and Harold, like a crazy man, goes ahead and bites her neck. The sister and takes a massive chunk out of her neck. I don't know what that was for, to see if she would turn again, I guess. Because she was, like, gravely wounded, but he was, like, bleeding all over her, yelling into her face while he was on top of her. And biting her like a rabid animal. It was crazy. It was cool, man. But she did survive in the book, obviously. And that was pretty much it. That's all we really know about him. But in this, I'm wondering how she plays a part. Have we not found anything yet? Swallow. Calcium Acuum, right there. More Vizinov's Champion. Another Unknown Dam Potion. And the Frightener. I'm going to read that book. Bottled water. Okay. This book discusses the Frightener. Let's go ahead and read that. A collection of information on an unusual rare monster known as the Frightener. Okay. So it goes into the journal. Frightener's eye. The ingredients. An eye removed from the Frightener. Here we go. Frightener. Occurrence, Frighteners are very rare. They come into being as a result of magical experiments. To create a Frightener, a mage has to possess a great power and basic knowledge of mutation. Frighteners are immune to... See, they got... Look at how in-depth this is. Immunity, susceptible, skip whatever that word is, and tactics to fight them. And what you can actually get from them. That is cool, man. Let's get on here and read it. The first mage to create a Frightener was the infamous renegade... Dagubert Sola, a diligent student of the Zeracanian Master of Alchemy and the supervisor of the trial that Grassifs carried out in Kaer Morin. Upon beholding the abomination he had created, Sola is said to have cried, What have I done? He destroyed the monster, his notes, however, survive. Interesting stuff, man. I love the codex in this game. This is probably one of the best codexes I've seen in any game so far, even though we have to read them. Which is not bad. Okay, Monstrum or Portrayal of Witchers. An anti-witcher pamphlet describes how ordinary people perceive witchers and it recounts the story of Kaer Morin's destruction. So we have the alcohol now. Can we put this? So what I'm getting is the green highlight thing is all you... Put that at. So what does this do? So 
but we can put this here. But what does... What do these weapons do? Minus 30%? Hmm. These are probably just backup weapons. I need to know what the hell these are. These here, maybe they might just be weapons to sell. That would be pretty cool. But look, I mean, look, look, Geralt likes to look, it looks like a lumberjack now. What? A, okay. All right, hold on. One more codex thing here. Oh, it actually says you've already read this. Oh my God, this is amazing. Monstrum or portrayal of witchers. Indeed, there is nothing more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of witcher. As they are all spring of foul sorcery and witchcraft, they are unscrupulous scoundrels without conscience and virtue. Vertible creatures from hell capable of only taking lives. They have no place amongst these sin and honest folk. And this care Morin where the villains nest and practice foul rituals must be wiped off the face of the earth. And all evil traces of it need be treated with salt and salt to pe salt Peter? To complete the deed. So that unlocked the witchers. Due to the otherness, unusual abilities, and magic skills, witchers are treated as outcasts and sometimes even met with hatred. This hatred was made manifest during the infamous attack on Kaer Morin, which led to the destruction of Fortress and the death of most of the witchers wintering there. Those who survived the doom to those who those who survived are doomed to extinction since they no longer train successors. People need witchers, but are simultaneously afraid of them. The inherent warriors inspire fear because they are mutants and have superhuman power powers. A witcher is rarely a welcome guest, and contacts with members of this profession are always. Almost always limited to business, witchers are invariably attacked during pogroms and social upheavals directed against those who deal in magic. Okay, and let's read about medicine since we're already in here. For centuries, diseases have plagued mankind, yet when Jan Becker subjected the power to his will, people gained power a powerful weapon in their fight against disease. Mages study bacteria and viruses, the ways germs spread as well as genetics. Their research is used by medics who set up hospitals to produce increasingly effective medicines. They're also magical potions capable of healing wounds and internal injuries. Many magic users such as Marty Sodergren or Vicenna. Vicenna is um, Geralt's mother, I believe. Yeah. Geralt's mother was a druid. She was like a druid healer. Um, yeah, that's his mother. And Marty is, um, he was in the books as well. But that is cool, his name dropping her, his mother. Have been healers traveling the world and using their magic for the good of others. And Geralt did meet his mother, but it was very, uh, strange when he met her. In the circumstances when he met her, he was really injured. Okay, well. Shall we move on, my friends? Evening holds good. Let's go down and give Triss the potion. How the hell do we get out of here? I'm curious about all these damn weapons that we got on us. Like a walking arsenal now. Vesemir, Triss, Lambert. Let's talk to the gang. Is that Eskel? I gotta say, Vesemir is probably my favorite. Eskul is pretty awesome as well. Let's talk to Eskul first. Hey, bub. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Haha. <laughs> 
Vesemir is a taxiturn. What is the word taxiturn? Teacher? Yeah, he's... You gotta love him, man. He's like that old man sitting on a porch yelling at kids. And his, uh... Mustard-stained white t-shirt. It's just... Yeah, you gotta love the old man. Anyways. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab. And the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Well, ripping granite from the ground, that's pretty... pretty ridiculous. Didn't I just ask him this? Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See? Oh, okay. So I gotta... I'll talk to Vess. No. I wasn't done. How can I help? Here we go. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, and the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes. Reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. You want to know something that... I don't know if the games go over it, but... Geralt is an exceptional witcher because Geralt... Um, in his trial, they gave him a little bit more. He was very... He took it very easy. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't bad for him as it was the other one, so... They gave him stuff a, like on, on the lines of a little bit more and made him... You always wondered to yourself why Geralt is so famous and why he's like the best witcher, obviously. Well, I'm telling you why. He he took a little bit more of the grasses in than other ones. It reacted better in his body than other people. So, let's say a witcher is like a superhuman. Geralt's like a double superhuman, in a sense, because of the way he took in the grasses. And they, like they gave him more, like... Well, it's not like it was experimental, but Geralt's different because Geralt um, has more emotions than other witchers, and he sees stuff a lot different than other other witchers as well. It's like it, it's like it was a trial case, I guess, because he was so it was so easy for him to take in the grasses than it was the other witchers. But obviously, his hair did turn white. That's probably about the only bad thing that even happened to him. I don't even think it's a bad thing. White hair is pretty damn epic. Quite a cut, and the last stage. I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? 
We're infertile. The changes are irreversible. Entirely. You see how the witchers have cat eyes, by the way? Cat eyes are only usually in the witcher when he takes the potion called cat potion. That's it. That's when he's able to see in the dark. I don't believe the witcher's eyes are always cat-like. But I could be wrong. That's something I kind of really don't... I think it's a missing point in the, uh, the lore, but I'm pretty sure they're not always like that. Anyways. We are Tell me about the tri- It's a hyper special does it I'm f Okay. I think how can I help? How can I help? Okay, uh, did you see the magic storm, huh? What magic storm, though? I'm wondering. Can we even see a magic storm besides dropping into- Yeah, when we dropped into the very beginning of the game. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries really sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. Alright. We'll talk later. Toodles, my friend. Toodles. Can we talk to Lambert? What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Thanks, Lambert. What do you need? What do I do now? Talk to Vesemir. He'll give you instructions. I'll find you later. Alright, let's talk to Vez, obviously. Uh, oh. Alright, Triss. Take it easy. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Um, let's not ask about the formula yet. Let's see if we can dig first. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morin, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. So there's another witcher named Berengar. I don't know him. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. So the beginning of the game, it says five years after the Great War. The Great War, remember? So five years after the Great War was the Battle of Brenna, I believe which was when Nilfgaard invaded. They invaded to... <laughs> they invaded to get Ciri, in a sense. And it started the whole war. It was like a diversion. And obviously, Brenna, we ended up winning in, in Brenna, but they invaded Sintra to get Ciri. And then all hell broke loose, and they were trying to just take the whole north. But we beat the bastards back across the Yoruga, I think that's what it's called, yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morin before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witchers and forty students called Kaer Morin home. Too damned few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches. But no, 
Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Very true. We did read something on the uh, portrayal of uh, witchers or whatever it is. Look at my man Esco back there. He was getting lit. Now he's eating a whole big chunk of cheese. <laughs> this is freaking great, man. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No. But the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. Me too, my friend. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gull and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Okay. Oh, we got armor. Very nice. Witcher steel sword. Oh, a rusty sword. I wonder if that rusty sword is more than this axe. Let's just keep the axe. Hold on. No. Can we drop this? Yeah, drop item. Let me pick that up. Yeah, see? Now we got two swords. This sword is probably more. Oh. Yes? <laughs> what if I get the ingredients wrong? Oh, God. Okay, that's good. What guess. if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol, and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time. It's not that hard. We'll speak later. Let's... Where did he say the stuff was? Holy. He said it's in the courtyard, right? Let's go out to the courtyard. Make this potion. And then head out. We've done quite a good deal here. Damn, so the gate is still messed up. I'm not seeing anything over here. Seeds crawled. Oh, okay, remains. There we go. To extract alchemical components, left click on the monster carcass, read books to gain information about monsters and alchemical ingredients, okay. So we have a Frightener's Claw, and a Frightener's Eye. Now let's, hold on, what is this? Frightener's Vision. Those containing the formulae for the potion made using a Frightener's Eye, the potion grants one bronze talent when consumed. That's pretty cool. This is a big ass hole in the wall. Can we actually go out here? Airmoren Valley. Nah, it's blocked off. Beautiful. For an old game, it's not bad. So everything's blocked off. Let's go back inside to give him this. Do we have to make the potion or is. No, obviously we gotta make it, yeah. Ah, oh, where's the guys at? And where's Triss? Yes? I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest, and prepare the potion according to the formula. Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to a room. Alright. We'll speak later. Wait, I needed to... Well, I guess I can click on the fireplace, right? Yeah. Did say meditate by the fireplace. All right, left click on the vial for potions. 
Select the formula to add the ingredients to the bottle automatically and left click the mix. Okay. So potion for Triss, let's click it. And this is what I was reading is that these like red, like hold on. You see how this, well we can't really say, but you see how this one says special substance, right? It's not, it doesn't have a secondary effect. It's very hard to explain, but like, okay. This one has Rebus and Negrito, right? You see the black highlight around Negrito or the blue highlight around Negrito. But this one is black. This one is has no color at all. And this one, this circle is red. So to get potions upgraded to better potions from aware is that you have to make... I don't know the effects of stuff. I believe the red, from what I was reading, might be vitality, extra vitality. Black is extra damage. And then there's a white one as well. A white one that has lower toxicity rating. So what we have to do is we have to make each ingredient has to be red, red, and red. They all have to have the same secondary effect to get a bonus for the um, potion up here. It's something like that. I don't know, man. It's it's very confusing. We're just going to wing it. But obviously we don't have enough stuff right now to do anything quite like that. So yeah, let's just make this stuff. It's pretty in depth, man. This game is, is completely in depth. You can find little guides without getting spoiler stuff, obviously, on forums and such. But don't dig too far into it. I don't. I don't want spoilers, and I know you guys probably don't. If you've never played it, but anyways, let's make this, and then let's just meditate to. Can we? Oh, we can do hourly type of stuff. Okay, let's meditate to there. And then... Where'd Vesemir go? He's gone. You! Well, there he is. Anyways, my friends, I'm going to end here. Um, we got a lot of good stuff done when we come back. We're obviously going to go up and give Triss the potion, see if we can save her, I guess. It doesn't look like she's dying, but she looks like she's in a lot of pain. No, she might be dying. But who knows? We're gonna save her. We did take back the keep successfully, so that's a plus. Anyways, my friends, take it easy. Until next time, see y'all then.